Two weeks March Madness, it returns to Memphis. For the third time since 2009, the Bluff City will be college basketball crazy as FedEx Forum hosts the South Regional Semifinal and Final. Today, one of the tournament's event managers gave a preview to local leaders, and Local 24's Brad Broders was the only reporter to listen in, and he joins us live in downtown Memphis now. Brad, good evening. What's the economic expectation there? It's a big economic expectation, Brandon and Katina. In 2009 and 2014, downtown leaders said business at least doubled on Beale Street when the city hosted the NCAA tournament, and organizers are expecting more of the same this March. Well, I mean, you're talking about, you know, a world-class championship event coming to Memphis. Thomas Carrier, the tournament manager for the University of Memphis, is gearing up as the city again shows itself to the world during the upcoming NCAA tournament. From a, an advertising piece, you cannot buy that. There's not a dollar figure I think the city can put on that. Today, Carrier gave this audience a sneak preview of the upcoming tournament games. Friday, March 24th, Phoenix Forum hosts two Sweet 16 games, followed by the Elite Eight games Sunday, March 26th. The four schools and three games roll in thousands of visitors, a slam dunk for the Memphis economy. You're getting people that may have never come to Memphis that you hope generates repeat business down the line. And the entire NCAA tournament field will be announced this Sunday, and organizers will find out which four teams will play right here at FedEx Forum next Sunday. Meanwhile, organizers have also put in a bid for the city of Memphis to again host the NCAA tournament sometime between 2019 and 2022. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brian Broders, Local 24 News.